Hello from the Parker Strip, and this is Bobby Lewis. And this is Julie Lewis. And my Lewis. wife, Julie Lewis. Hi, all. And we're at Doc Holiday at Arizona Shores. This was part of the world famous, or at least Parker Strip famous, Arizona Shores since 1951. Yes, I believe that's when it was built. Yep. And as you can see, it's got great commercial dock area, even though it's a residential home now. Um, and you can book direct through us or on VRBO at VRBO number 3972711. And today we're going to show you a little bit about our piece of paradise, Parker Strip Paradise. The magic of this this property. This is our dream, and we've had we've had homes upriver before. Yes. Yep. And upriver is, is also beautiful. beautiful and magical. Yes. But there are caddis flies upriver, right? Miller moths. Miller moths, yeah. if you want to call yes. them that. And one of the unbelievable things here is that we don't have Miller moths. Nope. We do have a Labrador down there saying hi right now but let's go take a look through all right Julie. let's take a look and please notice the beautiful boat slip it's pretty good size it's wide we've got the jet ski docks here as yeah, well we have two jet ski docks we actually have two more on the ramp that we may end up putting in this area here at some point um, when you do come we do our boat will be out of course your slip would be here for you we do leave the kayak and the stand-up paddle board out for you and we just closed on this not too terribly long ago so we have been um, making some changes and adding some things and there's a lot more that we plan on doing yep. but right now we have the brand new pool tape or excuse me a ping pong table uh, i've got lounge chairs um, sunshades barbecue area here we've purchased a pool table even but it might be a little while before we get down here because we're planning on getting a little more um, covered cabana area but a great place to hang out. You can see the boats just going by as we're here. And when you stay here, this used to be a motel, but now you're renting it as a a full single family home. And yes. all of this is private to you. We own those docks. We own this riverfront. You're fenced in. It's your riverfront area. This is all your area yep. when We've you got stay this here. Fantastic outdoor area here as well. And we'll kind of highlight that here in a moment. And so we're going to go into what I consider to be the living room area. Please pardon our hound. Oh yeah, our Telly, our, our, our little guy's in here. So this room we have set up as obviously as a living room. Um, this is a queen size sofa sleeper. Yeah, so this room actually sleeps three, correct? Yes, three adults really. Um, and the one thing too, like side note here, I have made it so that you have your head here rather than at that end. Yeah, it's more, we found it more comfortable to lay with your head this way based yes. on because it's a sleeper sofa. And then these, we have two of these in, in, in different rooms, one in here, but you want to show them how that works? Yes, I do. It's super easy. And this is a twin sleeper. And watch how easy this a, is. Um, sectional too. And while she's pulling that out, we're going to be adding a larger screen TV in here. But there are flat screen TVs in all the room. And so you just pull that out and kind of pull up. And then this, you go like this and then down. Yeah, I actually like sitting watching TV with the head up and then the legs out. But so this room will sit, sleep free. I mean, you could put a, something on the floor, I guess, too. Um, as you can see, this was built in 1951, all that woodwork. I'm sure maybe World War II people coming back or built this. Each of the three suites, and you do get all of them when you rent with us, has a full bathroom. And we're making some improvements now, but it still gives you an idea of what you get. And full stand-up shower in, in each unit. You do have the dresser here. You have a little closet here, um, step stool. And then here's the pillows and the extra bedding for the fold out and so forth. And then each unit, we've changed up one that we'll show you in a moment. It has its own kitchenette and a door out to parking. So if you have three couples, for instance, yeah, it's great because everybody has their own, their own room. 
And here's what Bobby was referring to in terms of the lounger. Well, you can have that up if you want to, but oh, just sort of relax. And, oh, it's oh yeah, and you can put the legs out too. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, like you can do that. that. And what's nice is that this, uh, I have slept, well, not slept, slept, but laid on it and rested on it, and it's really comfortable. And I'm not, I mean, they've, oh, no, you know, yeah. I'm not a. It's, a it's, it's sleep, it sleeps three. We try to yeah. sleep as many as we can. Uh, Comfortably. Comfortably, or when you're at the at the river, you want to bring all your friends and family. And I'm going to step outside. We do have, um, we're adding glass doors to all the river facing rooms in this video two of the rooms don't have them actually the doors are in we just haven't had them installed yet but this is where you walk out to have your coffee every morning or your cocktails at night it's kind of our living room area and something that we like we have swamp cooler evaporative coolers at each end of this deck so even in the summer when it's incredibly hot we, you turn those on and you can bring down the there, shades there's three sun shades here up here we drape them over the bar and have hooks at the bottom it turns it kind of into a an outdoor living room outdoor living room because you have the coolers mm -hmm. and then all of this this area and this is the outdoor living room space we did that specifically because it's kind of right out of the what i would call the living room and then the south room or the kids room fun zone what have you yeah, we'll is there and then dining area is here and you can comfortably seat 10 to 12 Oh, uh, outdoor sure. dining. Let's take them in. Yeah, let's take a look. Take them in this another is, one of the rooms here. This is and what I would call the, the primary the glass of the master. Not in yet, but, yeah. but it will be shortly. And this is a queen. It is a queen. And a double. Full. Yes, correct. And oh, one of the things I forgot to point out, uh, a couple of the lights in the room have the USB ports. Oh, yeah. So for charging your phones and so forth. And here... This yeah, we one have has some a, little ports yes, there. It's got two ports there. Um, and I love sleeping in the Queen in here. You look right down the river towards Blue Water Casino, which is down river here. This is the best part of the river by far. We've been here a long time. That's Riverland across the way. There's not hardly any flow compared to upriver the water is deep and wide it's really really wide uh, yeah very slow moving it's really nice again same type of setup here and exact same field. bathroom exact same bathroom we'll show you again and we're going to be making some improvements on these they are clean and comfortable um, this is not completed yet, but this we have full size laundry in here. There'll be a small kitchen and as well, smaller refrigerator in here because of the laundry we added. Let's go um, take a look at. Sorry about that. Oh, and one of the things I like too is each room has an area where you can sit. Like this, uh, in fact, well, not today, but um, the other day I was sitting here working. Bobby was sitting here working. It's. Uh, I'll probably be editing the video here. Yep. Right there. Yep, tonight. Right there. Because there is high speed internet here. It, it, we are rural Parker, Arizona, but it is pretty. You can stream movies well, and I upload videos from here pretty well. Ready, and then let's take a look at what I call the kid zone, or the fun zone, or the bunk room, or what have you. And please don't judge me. <laughs> I made these beds. Uh, I am not very good at making bunk beds, but they're clean and um, comfortable. And you can sleep four in here, a little tight, but four. Well, they're, four kids would be really yeah, comfortable. Two on the bottom here with the full, double, twin on top, and then another single or twin, twin almost yep, here. Pulled out. Mm -hmm. And this, I, li I like the way this room feels. I do too. I really like it a lot. We're going to be redoing the, this floor in here shortly too in here, but another kitchenette with an oven and we may add the washer and dryer in here too we, we we'll may see. put a washer and dryer in here as well but still we'll have a small kitchenette and here's microwave. some of the lights that have the usb port for the charging oh, yeah. we'll uh, add another thing up higher same type of bathroom but beautiful nice linens and i was water skiing earlier so i'm shirtless so if you see a little bit in the video it may not have been the best presentation oh, wow. but we are at the river. <laughs> Indeed. So let's go show them one of the reasons we like this property, too, in addition to the river, because a lot of the river properties don't have a lot of parking. parking. 
Yeah, but that's not the case. Not here. So when you come in, you're going to come through this gate when you when you arrive. So tons of parking, tons of parking. And this is this is just the car parking. This is not the trailer parking. Here. Right. That we should, you we can park four cars, three comfortably. Well, four, I guess you could do that. Best to back it in like I've done with my car. Yeah, I have a mega cab Dodge. About as long of a non-commercial truck as you can have, 3,500. And I back in here and we get three additional cars. But what's really nice about this property is we also own this back. lot. So when you come with your trailers... You're probably going to see my boat trailer back there, but there is room for multiple, multiple um, trailers, cars, yep. more than we'd like you to even have here because yeah. <laughs> we yeah, to be totally like honest, to cap right? <laughs> 10 people on the property at a time. It does sleep 11 the way it's configured, but our, what we'd like to say is 10, but you can see there's tons of parking here. This is Old Riverside Drive, so if you go upriver a bit you'd run into foxes roadrunner um pirate's, pirate's den. den all all are down upriver really nice there's circle k Ooh. just up a just up a little ways here um maybe half a mile yeah yeah so yeah, circle k the keys are up here the real estate offices that you'll see and circle k is up this way if you go down it's about wow. a half mile not even not even a half yeah. mile of the launch ramp and it's free and it's not busy mm -mm. it's it's amazing yeah <laughs> it's, really, it's really really not nice. much river flow there at all it um, may be a little bit busier on some of the holiday weekends yeah, I'm but sure it's, it's still it's... really easy oh and one of the other great things too not too far up uh, maybe 15 miles there's a free launch ramp to put you on the lake if you want to spend a day oh yeah if lake. you want to spend a day on the lake um 15 minutes yep to it's end. up there and the our opinion the best part of the lake because it's down yeah it's the south end of, end. although I, I i personally why would i i, I would have that right that. out there we've lived in havasu for a long time and been boating on we both boated and played here since we were kids and we live in havasu full-time but for boating and for fun yes parker strip it is it it is, <laughs> it is where, where it is. It is. oh and the did you say blue water lagoon or oh yeah and, and blue water casino is maybe 10 minutes down. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, on the boat, like boat, just a it's, couple yeah, minutes. Yeah, really quick. Um, Wait, one last thing, too, I want to point out. We absolutely want everybody to have a complete ball here. There's no reason why you wouldn't. A um, couple of things, though. Please know that there's no parking anywhere over there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. So, so you don't park over there at all? Um, not even for a second. Yeah, and, and then, you don't park to the right of basically the power pole there. Right. There's going to be a fence, so it's going to be pretty obvious. But but where that white pickup truck, that is not our property. And they're wonderful people. But I'm going to show you the sign real quick. Let me yeah. show them the sign. Yes, I'll take them up do. to the riverfront too, Julie. Um, but I'm going to park right here. Trailer parking is directly across the street from property. Do not park on neighbor's property even for a minute. Neighbors are wonderful, but will tow your vehicle. Tow truck is close by. Trust us on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and please, please do not park yeah. in their um, driveway either. Have fun, but respect our home, property, neighbors, and the river. But this, so this was the front side of the property that you're just going to see when you get here. But then we'll go back up here. And we normally leave a river toy or two out in addition to the, like right now we're going to leave out. Big, huge um, tube for the next guest. And I don't know if we point out, we do have barbecue here. We'd like you to clean it when you get done with it, just so everybody can have a clean barbecue next time they come. We try to keep the place immaculate, though. Outdoor shower. The one thing I think important to know too this is a place to come and enjoy your family your friends it is absolutely beautiful here you will love it um, our home is definitely unusual in that it's old and small but that's what makes it so fantastic 
Yeah, Visit there's a lot of history really to this. Historic this charm. charm. It's, it's just cool. It's in one of the places on the river where you go by Roadrunner, you see the big Roadrunner sign or yes. foxes. This used to have the big Arizona Shores sign. That's right. On top. Yep. And it's, you know, lots of people, if you bring up Arizona Shores, they've been to the river, they'll know what you're talking about. But we hope you have, we hope you come check it out. We'd love for you to stay here. Um, it's one of our favorite places in the world. And yes, indeed. Yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call anytime. You can book online at VRBO or you can go to our, real, even, although this is by owner, we have a page on our real estate website where you can find information on it, but it is not through our brokerage. It's, no. It's by, it's by owner and um, it's our pride and joy. So we hope Contact to see you at the river Contact us and come soon. and stay and play. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Bye, all.